All right, guys, this is our Volvo S40 that we're in right now. You can see the ABS warning light showing on our dashboard here. Um, we suspect there's a problem with one of the ABS sensors. We hope it's an ABS sensor because otherwise it might be quite uh, expensive to fix it if it's a, an ABS module or an ABS pump. Uh, well, this is the MD702 by Autel. Uh, it's available just by clicking the link below this video. Um, we're going to select the Volvo vehicle and go in, select our vehicle, and then we can diagnose the fault. Now, the vehicle we're in is a two, 2000 model. It's a European right-hand drive. It's an S40. It has automatic transmission. So, find the control unit that you're after. In this case, it's the brakes. It's the anti-lock brake system. And we're going to go in, access the system. And then we should be able to read off a trouble code or two, depending on what we have. Read codes. Right, we have code 06, also 312. Front right wheel speed sensor, rear left wheel speed sensor. Um, I suspect it's only the front right which is the real problem. Um, for some reason it's given us rear left as well, but we'll check both of the sensors out. Um, I believe that there's to be only a, a, a fault with the, the front right. So we'll go ahead and change that over, then we'll come back into the vehicle, and then we'll see if we can get rid of this ABS warning light. Alright, so if you pull back this bit of plastic here, you'll get access to the ABS sensor. Um, as you can see, I've already disconnected the ABS sensor. Um, so what I need to do is, I mean, the wire, it goes back into the, uh, the plastic surround here. It comes down here. And then you can see it goes into the, uh, probably I'm not sure how well you can actually see that, but it's, it's in there anyway. Right, so that's the old sensor. Put the new one in, hook it back up. Then we'll go back into the vehicle and see if we can get that dash light removed from the uh, dashboard in this Volvo. Alright, so we're back in the vehicle now and uh, we've reset the, oh, sorry, changed over the ABS sensor. So we will um, turn the engine on and see if it will actually uh, automatically reset the ABS light. Well, it's turned it off automatically there which is good news um, but what we still will need to do is actually uh, we'll read the code again and then we'll erase the trouble code just so it's clear from the system it's always a good idea to, to uh, make sure you you can reset the code as well so they're not lying around on the system so there's the code that we got earlier and we're gonna just erase the code Raise codes command sent. So we'll come out of that and then we'll see the ABS light and the brake light disappear there. So successful. It's the Autel MD802 which we used to actually um, diagnose the fault and reset the light. As you can see, it will cover a wide range of uh, Asians, Europeans, and American cars. Uh, so if you are interested in the MD802, just click the link directly below this video and it will take you to the page on our website. Thanks very much for watching.